Welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Broken and Smoking. I'm excited if you can't tell. When I cleaned this shop up, as many of y'all already know, done a little organization, I found a mini gold mine. I mean, it's a mini gold mine. It's a suspension seat. A neighbor gave that to me. Yeah, I'll take it. Have you ever known me not to take anything? Well, it, I put it somewhere. Now I honestly don't even remember where I found it at. But I found it. That's all that matters. Forgot I had it. Because, you know, me, I got a bad back. Anybody that's a Sasquatch usually has bad backs. And the problem is stuff like this here, you know. Made for vertically challenged, made for vertically challenged. You gotta squat, do this. On top of that, oops, I dropped something. Uh, do I leave that laying there or do I bend over and pick it up? I'm gonna leave that laying there because I ain't gonna bend over and pick it up because I might hurt my back until I absolutely gotta have it. So, the XY flows more in the yard. I hate it, because our mower is just like this. No suspension, nothing. It, and I priced them seats, and boy, you better go cash out one of them 400 Ks and take out a loan to get one of them rascals. They are not cheap. And I don't understand it, but it ain't that much to it. And I got something stuck on the bottom of my boot. Took it out of the way, because I, I ain't been over and picked it up. So, yeah, we're gonna put that suspension seat on this seat. I know it's a different color, so I guarantee it being that color, it ain't gonna bolt up to this one here. But we got a, a metal liquefier and a drill press, some nuts and bolts. I think we can get it done. Well, here we are. First step, let's take a gander at our seat. Looks like it's got an adjustable hobby dog. You know what I'm gonna do with this seat when I get done with it? I'm gonna make a, a roll around cart or a chair. You know, it sits about 12 inches off the ground. So we got four bolts and that's it. What we got on this thing? Probably four bolts. And a safety wire. Go ahead and disconnect that before I forget it. We'll just do it right here. There we go. Guaranteed not to be the same. Well, we got our old trusty steric tape measure. Might not be right, but it'll be accurate. Looks like it's about 11 and a quarter inches. Width wise. This one is nowhere near that. Go figure. So I reckon I'm gonna go ahead and take this seat off. Take that seat off that bracket. And we'll just lay them up there on the table now because we got room to work. And we'll just compare, what in the heck? Oh, that's one of them Acadia bugs. June bug, Acadias, whatever. And them shell thingies, look at it. The 
He gone. Not far, but he gone. But yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna do now. So I got the seats here tore apart. It's the yellow seat, brackets off. Bad boy seat, bracket laying on top, going around trying to figure it out. Oh, I took these adjusters off because this has got adjusters in it. But I don't know if really, if I need to use the adjusters with this. But I mean, there's no way of them to actually work. So I took them off. And I've got some of these here fish plates that I keep laying around. So if you ever need a fish plate something, I got them. But I'm thinking I can drill some holes in them and just lay it out accordingly. Very lightly tack it where I don't burn my seat up. Take it off. And then of course I gotta make room clearance this right here with a big hole so my safety switch go in. I think that might work. Then my springs, you know, I don't really want them rusting on my wood, so I'll probably put a couple more under the springs and weld them in. And I think that'll work. So I'm gonna go and uh, go ahead and drill some holes in this. Probably, what is it, three eighths bolts. So clearance in for three eighths and kind of mock everything up before we get ready to tack it together. Well, I got everything tacked up there. Didn't burn nothing up too bad, I don't guess, but got the holes drilled, lightly tacked. Got my spring pads on there, tacks. So now we're gonna take it apart, lay it down and uh, burn it in. Get those sweat band on and get started. All right, in case I didn't notice, I went ahead and powder coated that. That way the paint, you know, could be baked on while it's still scalded hot. And it gives that little hammer tone look to it, you know? So I think I got all that situated. So now I'm gonna go over there and probably what I'll do there is take the pattern off of this frame transfer out to that plate and just drill it, be done. Well, y'all saw me crawling around like a piss sand on that mower. I got the hose put in it and I hope they're in the right locations. So here's the moment of the truth. Place your bets if it'll fit or if it won't. Well, I guess 
what you do the old elongation. So let's put this on the seat and the seat back on. And we'll, then we're gonna go test drive it after I put my tools up. Cause I'm trying to do better. I really am. So I'm gonna go right over here and put my tools up. And of course I forgot, I gotta cut a big hole for my sensor. So be right back. All right, I'm back and I precisely put uh a four level, a four sided polygons in it. It's not rectangled, but it's four sides and it looks like, I took a cutoff wheel and just, you know, we got it to do the thing and I powder coated it again and we got it attached. Got a lift kit too. Hell yeah. My knees won't be in my chin no more. X Y's feet might be dangling, but oh well. Oh man, we're styling now. I just saved hundreds for about an hour's worth of work. Get up that. I mean, if you think about it, we'd have probably spent 30 to 45 minutes if we bought one to a place. I think we could go jump some levees now. Let's roll. Unbelievable how much difference that makes. 
hit some of these molehills. Left turn. Actually, it was right, but you know. Man, that's a lot better. Uh, that's unver unreal how much difference that makes. That's worth spending hundreds of dollars if you had to. Well, the ex-wife ought to be proud, but I guess that's gonna do it for this one. That just shows you, somebody gives you something, take it. You never know what you're gonna use it for. I know that saved me several hundred dollars for I'm assuming about an hour's worth of work. I well, appreciate y'all if y'all ain't already. Like, subscribe, comment. Tell me some of them projects y'all been working on. Catch you on the next one.